Here's the number one most common mistake I see beginners make, and that is not properly sanitizing your equipment. When you think of homebrewing, you probably think of exploding bottles and methanol poisoning. But if you follow this account, you already know how to avoid these things. A much more common issue people struggle with is not knowing how to make sure their equipment is safely prepared to brew, so that's what I'm going to show you today. Before you get started, the one thing you need is a high quality, food grade, acidic sanitizer. The most common one used in the homebrewing community is called StarSand, and I've added the link to get some in my bio. StarSand's great because it's super easy to use, it's self-foaming and safe for people and the environment. It should go without saying that every piece of equipment you use should be properly sanitized ahead of making a batch of mead, especially surfaces that will be in direct contact with your product, such as the inside of your fermentation vessel or your siphon. This is because you want to kill and prevent the spread of any harmful bacteria that could potentially spoil your batch. So how exactly do you use this stuff? The first thing I do is create a solution according to the directions on the package. You only need a tiny amount diluted with water. Make sure you wash your hands or else wear gloves and then dunk all of your small individual pieces of equipment such as airlocks, hydrometers, rack and cane or whatever else you have, make sure they're fully saturated. Then I'll set them aside on a piece of paper towel to dry. The great thing about Star Sand is that it's a no rinse solution, meaning once you apply the sanitizer, you can use the equipment immediately. After I do the smaller pieces, I will usually move on to the siphon. Siphons can be a bit tricky, but what I do is first dunk the tube to make sure the outer surfaces are sanitized, and then I'll actually run sanitizer through the siphon as I would with mead. That way you can get all the inner surfaces too. I'll usually siphon the sanitizer directly into my vessel and then give the vessel a good shake. Once again, making sure that that sanitizer is getting into every nook and cranny. At this point, I dump my sanitizer and all the equipment is now ready for a batch. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure to follow if you want to see more homebrewing tips.